What's up brother? This video is somewhat of a follow-up to my last video which I uploaded yesterday. Uh, it, was about fa it was about fasting and this is also about fasting. Today I'm gonna go into the 10 most uh, common mistakes or things you gotta, you gotta look out for when you're doing a fast, especially the first few times. So let's get into it with number one. When you're doing a fast, it's extremely important. The first thing you eat when you break your fast has to be healthy and it has to contain a lot of protein. If you fast and just straight up fucking binge ice cream or some dumb shit after your fast, it's gonna ruin your body. It's gonna ruin your physique and your gut microbiome health, whatever the fuck, some nerdy talks that no one cares about. But like basically your stomach or your gut health would will be ruined if you eat like trash after a long fast and the same is true if you already have kind of bad habits you have bad cravings if you eat something healthy to break your fast now you will actually start to crave more of that healthy food moving forward and the same is obviously true for the opposite so if you eat ice cream when you break your fast you're gonna crave ice cream more so that's very important that one thing alone if you take anything away from this video that's the one like that can make it break your fasting and your health. Uh, yeah. So let's get into number two, which is aggressively fasting or uh, starting kind of like going to the gym. Actually, you don't want to go too hard too early. If it's your first time fasting ever, like if you're one of those people who never ever like fasted, like even intermittent fasting ever before in your life you probably shouldn't go off with like a 24 hour, 48 hour, or even a 72 hour fast straight away. That's that's just gonna be like, you're gonna fail, bro. It's not gonna be pretty. And you might uh, actually damage your body. So just take it a few steps at a time, especially if you wanna do, I talked about the 16 hour fast where you just eat in eight hours of the day. That's what I'm gonna, I'm, I'm actually doing right now, so. If you want to do that, you can just gradually like take one hour away every day. So start like fasting for 10 hours, then 11, then 12, and you get the point, right? So that's tip number two. Number three is going to be ignoring your body, bro. Your body is way smarter than you. <laughs> Believe it or not, your body is way smarter than you. It has been fine-tuned over so long time of evolution. So listen to your body, man. If you're feeling lightheaded, if you're like really, really exhausted, it's okay to be hungry, that's not it. But if you really actually feel bad, like you're about to pass out, you should probably break your fast and get some food in. Uh, that can also be uh, because of water. So that's going to be number four. Remember to drink your fucking water. You can also drink black coffee. Actually, some people can't, but most people can drink black coffee. You can drink tea no matter what. That's no calories. You just got to make sure no sugar, no honey, no... Uh, milk no whatever the fuck you put in your coffee and tea so just plain as it is and remember to drink lots of water i know you can also put like salt uh get some salt in in the water and and that can uh, keep you hydrated you can also do that i think that was four right yeah so number five when you're fasting just in general getting your sleep is super important for so many reasons and i've made a video maybe two videos about sleep so Getting sleep is already very important, but when you're fasting, fasting is a huge stressor for your body. So you're stressing your body when you're fasting, obviously. Therefore, it is especially important that you sleep a lot and get high quality of sleep during a fast. Also, it is super fucking easy to fast for a long period of time if you sleep for longer, right? That's like, if you sleep for seven hours, or 10 hours that's three more hours where you're not hungry because you're literally sleeping right so that's very important uh number number six yeah that's number six that's six fingers like that uh if you have any like medical conditions or like struggling with something uh, i don't recommend you fasting without like knowing how that affects your personal body because we're all very very different so maybe if you have some illness or some something about you that you struggle with maybe like ask your doctor whoever knows about your your condition so make sure you get that sorted out before you start fasting number seven 
uh, you gotta take it slow, man. Uh, kind of similar to not going too fast, too or too hard, too fast. You gotta make sure you don't fast for way too long. I really don't recommend, and most people don't recommend fasting for more than 72 hours, unless you're like actually like fasting a fuck ton and you you've done it for a long time and your body is used to it. 72 hours is a max. And please do not do that the first five fasts. Like, start off slowly intermittent fasting. If you've done that, then do a 24 hour, then do a 32 hour, then do a 48 hour, and then eventually you can do the 72 hour if you really want to. Uh, yeah. Also, if you're interested in the benefits and that sort of shit, and you haven't watched my last video, or I just don't know, you can check that out. I'm gonna link that at the end of this video. Number eight, baby. It is. You shouldn't rely on fasting as just a tool to actually lose weight. Now, it is true that for weight loss, fasting is incredible. Um, and that is absolutely one of the amazing benefits of fasting. And you, you can use fasting as a tool to lose weight. But you shouldn't just rely on that. You shouldn't just perma fast and just fucking never eat like you're going to be starving yourself. And it's going to damage your uh, metabolism in the long term. So... Yes, you can do uh, intermittent fasting, but and you can do that pretty much every day. But you should have one day a week where you don't fast, and you have one day a week. That's what I do. I have two days where I don't intermittent fast. The one day I don't fast at all, I just eat when I wake up, and the other day I'm gonna do a, like a very long fast, so a 24-hour fast, pretty much. So that way you keep your metabolism healthy and you won't just dip like if you right now eating 2500 calories a day to maintain weight and you just start fucking perma fasting like super long hours every fucking day for a long time your metabolism is gonna get fucked up your need is gonna go down so your non-exercise activity is gonna go down and therefore you're gonna end up with a metabolism or calorie burning per day which is gonna be at like 2000 so now you're gonna not now you won't be able to eat 500 calories or oh, that sounded weird now from from now on you're gonna eat 500 calories less a day to maintain weight because you're over fasted so be careful with that so kind of similar to the first one oh yeah uh, i forgot number <laughs> number nine uh if you don't actually eat anything with nutrients in it and you don't have any supplements you don't have enough vitamins in your diet already that's bad just in general but especially doing a fast you gotta make sure the thing the last thing you eat and the thing you the things you eat up to the fast and when you break your fast gotta be nutrient dense you gotta get some nutrients in there in general in general this is good advice but especially when fasting it is just even um so what but just when you're fasting it's even more important number 10 this is kind of uh individual so calorie free drinks or like zero sugar like diet drinks like pepsi max uh whatever the fuck free of sugar like everyone has a free version or sugar or a zero sugar version um you gotta be careful with that that and black coffee even if there's nothing in your coffee for some people that's gonna spike insulin and then that's kind of gonna fuck up your fast so that's kind of individual and it's pretty hard to track uh, you can get like um like some people have diabetes they get like a thing that can see the blood sugar levels and stuff like that and you can just test it out that way if you you don't have that device i don't personally i just don't do it like and if i do do it i do it very um small amounts so maybe one can of pepsi max some shit like that just to make sure you don't break your fast with it so that's going to be all for today i hope you learned something hope you enjoyed the video and make sure to watch the other one if you want to know the benefits and that's going to be all peace out and take care